Hello everybody, this is Sex Talk Hillary Xene. Today I've got another Minecraft bug showcase for you. So today I'm going to be looking at the extended crafting mod for Minecraft 1.7.2. Basically what this does is it adds a bunch of extended items into your game, which I will then demonstrate after I showed you the crafting recipes. The reason I'm showing the crafting recipes for these is that they're all, they're all different made but using different things, so I thought it'd be easier just to show you instead of uh, just uh, giving you a link. Okay, so since I haven't set it up for some reason I'm just going to get Right, so the first most important thing that you are going to need is of course the extended crafting bench. Now in order to create this, all you it's very simple, all you have to do is place two, down, two crafting tables together, they'll fuse, and then you have your extended crafting table. Okay, so let's get into the maps here, the mini items. So obviously you have axe, hoe, spades, swords, and shovels. And these are created differently depending on what it is. So for the wood ones, we have for the axe, after four sticks and five wood. This for the hoe, four sticks, three wood. The pickaxe, it is first stick. So basically, for each one, it will go up, and then it's basically using an extended crafting recipe. So you have four sticks and five wood for that one. Four sticks and two wood for the shovel, and then three sticks and five uh, for the sword. As you go, basically, as you go up the tiers, the um, items will increase, but the crafting recipes are the same. So, for stencils, you'll use wood for the handle and then stone for the blade or whatever. For the iron, you'll use stone for the handle and iron for the, the uh, head. For gold, you'll use three iron ingots and five and sorry, iron ingots for the hilt and then five out gold things. Like that. For the diamond, you'll need three iron and um, thing for the. Um, so I'm going to take one of these, the extended versions of the diamonds now, and then show you exactly what what they do. Well, I'll show you after I've just explained a few of the other items that come with this mod. So first of all, you have the extended bow. So I'll get that one. This one, this one um, shoots. Oh my god! So far, you'll never see that bow. You'll never see that arrow again. Yeah, that's the extended rod. So extended rod. I'm not entirely sure what this does. I think it allows you to fish further. Yes, it does. A lot further. Okay, next we have the extended flint and steel. If I see this, just lasts longer. It does. You can see I'm explaining the question message. So the, for the bow, you're using the sticks in a normal bow formation, and the strings is just using the whole thing. The rod, a normal rod, just extended. Bit of steel, it's five ironing discs and two flint. After shears, it's basically just last longer. We need six iron ingots. Now I'll show you some of these after. So I'll take this one with me as I can't really demonstrate it. So the extended map. That's using uh, all pieces of paper around the edge, two pieces of resin and a compass in the middle. I'll show this just quite quickly. When you use it, it will give you a, a huge area. It will. Basically, like the Xbox 360 edition, which is quite good. Next, you have the extended compass. I don't exactly know what difference this makes. Oh, there we go. You, oh, that's cool. You can set um, all different fonts. You can set your spawn point and everything, so that's pretty cool. Then you've got the extended helmets, which are basically just um, basically just more powerful than the regular. And they're all crafted using the same recipes that you've just seen here. That one for the legs, the ch then you've got the chest plate, then you've got the boots, and you've got the helmet there. So if we swap over to survival mode now, if we put this armor on, as you can see, it's probably giving us slightly more armor than normal. As you can see, I look like Mr. Cube. Okay, so if I show you the extended shears, as you can see, I've already tested this out. It's basically just cuts everything instantly when you can just roll. Just spam the hell out of these trees. That's basically what that does. And then these extended ones, these basically give you, as you've just seen, a very extended reach. Look, from here, I can, oh, I can do that tree. Uh, 
and a hoe. Okay. Pickaxe. Okay. Extended use. Shovel. Same again. Now, for extended sword, it uh, makes the bit more of a difference because you can because you can hit stuff from a lot further away. I'll just show you here. So if I get a zim, so if I get a, a zombie. Oh, fucking hell, I didn't put it on easy. Sorry about that, hang on. So if I get a zombie here. And set him down. I can hit him from a slightly greater distance. Yep, so that is really the extended crafting bench mod in a nutshell. So it is a pretty cool mod if, some, if that's something that uh, you like to you would like in your game. I'm going to take that helm off. I'll take this helm off. Okay, everybody, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to punch a like button, leave a comment down below, or subscribe, or some memes from my Twitch feed, which is going to be linked down below. So, last thing to say, thank you for watching. I've been Xbox Kirk, and I will see you soon. Bye. <laughs>